Former state lawmaker Jamie Kalani English has been sentenced to more than three years in prison for accepting bribes. A federal judge also ordered English to pay a $100,000 fine. Manolo Morales has more. The former Senate Majority Leader, shown here wearing a white mask, had nothing to say when asked to comment. Inside the courtroom, English expressed remorse in front of the judge. He said, I ask myself continually why I did what I did. With deep remorse, I have to look at this. The judge sentenced English to a prison sentence of 40 months and three years of probation. He's also been ordered to pay a $100,000 fine. The court, I think, gave the best sentence the could, court could under the circumstances and uh, recognizing the cooperation. But yeah, I think it sends a pretty effective message. English accepted bribes of more than $18,000. Both he and former state representative Ty Cullen pleaded guilty in February for accepting cash, casino chips, and other gifts. Prosecutors say in exchange they drafted legislation on cesspool and wastewater policy to help a businessman identified by his attorney as Milton Choi. During the sentencing, Judge Susan Oki Mulway described English's actions as a terrifying prospect that this was so normal, so natural. This was a matter of greed. It was incredibly easy. He was not reticent about accepting bribes, taking money, never reluctance. Many times it was his idea. This was not an individual that was shy about taking money and, and performing favors for that money. The head of Common Cause Hawaii says the sentence is appropriate. To show that corruption and bribery in our political process will not be tolerated. What is so disturbing is that we had to get to this place. Ma says more transparency is needed in the political process to repair the public trust. So that we know when um, bills move, why they move, when bills fail, why they fail, so things like this cannot happen again. House Speaker Scott Psyche sent a statement saying, I hope this serves as a message to everyone in government that there can be no tolerance for unethical conduct. Cullen is scheduled for sentencing in October. Manolo Morales-Gay, 2 News, working for Hawaii.